Hey guys, it's Sarah and it's my week 25 uh, pregnancy update and I'm actually already into week 26 by several days now. Um, but I am going, I originally had thought, oh, I'll do them um, together, but I'm not going to because I have some downtime right now in the car. I'll tell you about that in just a second. And number two, I am actually going to back to the doctor this week. So, um, for just, you know, my monthly check-in. And so, I just decided that it would be best if I just go ahead and just keep them separate. In case I didn't share anything about that. So, um, week 25, <laughs> uh, came in like a bang. Several big things happened. I took my first adult tap dance class. Um, there is a dance studio. Okay, so our local dance studio that I would consider local would be in Martin which is like 15 minutes from us. Um, but this studio, they, they closed, and they didn't do adults, they just did kids. But the, that teacher who I originally took dance from back in, you know, like junior high, high school. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I took dance. Anyways, her place closed, and she didn't do adults anyways. But this place in Union City has taken on a lot of those kids. And then also, um, they're offering adult classes and right now she's just offering adult tap although one of the girls that's in the class with me I knew because I used to work with her and she told me that she takes ballet from another instructor that's also in Union City which is like 25 minutes from us so if you're a dance mom if your kid takes dance there this tap class is free if you're not it's five dollars um and I had asked could I please do that and I asked around and said I don't care who watches Oz that day this is something that I want to do something that's important to me and um, Ed was like, I'll give you the $5. He's like, absolutely, I want you to do this. So I did that. And that was good. And, and it was fun. And um, I forgot there was quite a bit of hopping in tap. And it's not that I can't hop. Um, but it, it was a little more difficult. Because I have continued to walk some or do some like pregnancy DVDs here and there. But I have not been like jumping or hopping or doing anything in that nature. So that was a little difficult. The other stuff, I mean, I didn't get some of the moves right off the bat. And it's been so long since I've taken dance. Um, but anyways, it was fun. And it probably, probably will only be like once a month. They've already scheduled one for October. And it's on the 14th. And I don't know that we're going to be here that weekend. If we're not, I, um, if we are, then I'll go. If we're not, then I won't. So, yeah, there's that. Also, in week 25, my Ozman turned three. And if I can remember, I am going to insert some pictures from his party. If you guys follow me on social media at all. Um, I don't always accept new people on Facebook. If I know you and we're friends, I will usually accept you. I do accept more people on my Instagram. Um, and my Instagram is personal life, but I also share things on Instagram that I don't put on Facebook. That would might be more weight loss surgery related. Um, not always, just sometimes. Um, so I will add you there. Just uh, S A R L Harrison. Um, and if I don't add you, send me a message so that I know that you're from here. Um, and if you make comments on my videos a lot, I probably will recognize your name. Um, anyways, but again, Facebook. I don't always add everybody. If I know you or you're somebody who has been a subscriber for a while, and we've had conversations I will often add you um, it just depends it just depends or if I know you through like another weight loss or it just depends anyways um, so but he turned three and I'll try to add some pictures to that and um, we didn't really have a big party this year but we did do like cake and ice cream and um, we had some of our family come over and I uh, would just my parents and Ed's parents and then um, my brother and his wife and my niece and then uh, Brianna and the kids which are family and then um, she's my best friend if you don't know and then also um, my cousin Faith her four kids they all came um, and then Peyton who is 20 now he brought his girlfriend who I also invited so they all came and then we watched a movie outside and we did hot dogs and s'mores and it was hot it was so hot but that, and I was exhausted because that was actually the same day as the tap. Um, but anyways, so that happened in week 25. Um, I know.
know I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but this baby is so active. And um, my mom or Brianna once said, more than Oz. And I'm like, you know, Oz moved a lot. And I remember him moving a lot. And we have ultrasounds that say, oh, he's really hyper. Or he was moving a lot. But it is just so different. And I don't know if it's just the way I am carrying her. Or if it's just personality differences. I don't know. But it's just different. I can't explain it. His movements, I felt like, were big. And maybe I'm just thinking about toward the end. Because I know toward the end, like, I would just lay in bed at night and Ed would come in. And I would say, just watch my belly. And we'd watch it kind of, like, move all over the place. Um, I don't know. And she has big moves, too. But there's just a lot of, like, punches and kicks. I know I've also talked about this, but I swear this kid is, like, taking her fingernail or toenail and just constantly scraping the side of my bladder. Anyways. Um, so, that is happening. What else? Week 26. I mean, week 25. So, she's moving an awful lot. Um, I, I weighed this week. And I basically weigh what I weighed at the doctor's office. So, there's no telling what I will weigh there. Because um, my scale is usually at least five pounds lighter than their scale. Uh, and I'm not super pumped up about how much I've gained. But I know at the same time that, you know, I lost it once. I can do it again. Right? Right? I need some total help and encouragement there. Um, my back and chest pain have still been back and in full force and I don't I don't know uh, I don't, Friday night which will be week 26 so I'll just wait and talk about that later um I don't know it's just been starting like earlier in the day and lasting longer and I'm taking a lot of Tylenol and I feel really bad about that um and I've also had caffeine this pregnancy which I totally rarely did at all with the Oz so maybe that's why she's so much more active. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, there's like 12 things I want to talk about and now I can't think about anything. I should have written it all down. So, in week 25, I can't remember how big she is or how long she is or any of that, but I think we're to the two pound mark. If we're not, we're fixing to be. And, um, So, week 25 was good. Oh, I've had more energy as I yawn. I've had more energy this week. And there will be like a few days like yet. Well, again, we're week 26. But like, for example, yesterday. Well, well, example. Day of party. I got like in the middle of the day. I'm like, this is the t I'm so exhausted. I had I'd gotten up early. I'd gone to Driven Eden City. I'd taken the tap class. Then I came home, I sat on my feet all the rest of the afternoon to get this party going, which typically is not that big of a deal, but I was just so wiped out. And, um, I mean, I felt wiped out, but I found the energy to keep going. Um, and there have been days where I have found no energy for that, but I have been able to stay on top of things better, like just stupid stuff, like picking things up at the end of the night. Um. I have, there have been several days in the past where I, I neglect those things in the evening because I'm just so exhausted. But I've stayed up later a couple nights trying to get things done and um, the nesting has totally started up. Oh, I started getting a little bit of a stuffy nose and um, I'm not sick by any means, but I just feel like my past, my nasal passages aren't breathing in and out out as well and I know that's a thing that happens I didn't have that at all with Oz but I feel like this is not going anywhere I feel like I'm stuck with it now so that's a concern but what you gotta do right so yeah uh, overall week 25 was great and um, I cannot believe we're 25 weeks in and it's so funny because I know we're at the end of December is when this baby's due, but I, I feel like it's soon. And in week 25, I think I only had like 14 weeks left. 
that's if we go full term. Which I don't, I'm not, I don't have any reason not to. Oh, swelling. My ankles have been swelling. And I, oh, my blood sugar. That's what I want to talk about. My blood sugar has been great. And I have continued to monitor it all week. And I even said like halfway the week, I'm like, I'm not going to keep doing this if I'm not, don't have any high numbers or it doesn't look like I have any issue. Um, she had told me to start taking it in the morning, every morning, and then at least after one meal every day. But I, have, I haven't done all three meals. I think I did that once. Uh, but I have just sporadically done it after a few different meals. And everything has been fine. My actual number was only over 100 once. Um, and that was the day that <laughs> I had lunch. And for lunch I had a half of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A handful of chips and then a slice of banana bread that had just come out of the oven and it was actually a little bit after because I couldn't eat all that at one time it was actually like 30 to 45 minutes after I had had lunch and let me tell you it was not a healthy banana bread it was like the for real deal like three cups of brown sugar three cups of sugar banana bread like I had made it um, we had just some bananas that were going bad and I was trying to get rid of some food and stuff in the house and um, I just made a batch of banana bread and so, it, I think it was like 120, and I had been reading about, like, you know, when I'm supposed to check my blood sugar and what my blood sugar is supposed to look like, and for, um, like, two hours after you eat, you want your blood sugar, if you're not a diabetic, to be under 140, and so, but that's the only day it ever got that high. The rest of the times and days that I've checked it, it's been in the 70s and 80s, I think, yesterday it was like 94 after lunch or maybe it was after dinner and I don't I couldn't even tell you what I ate but um anyways but it's been good and I had been telling myself I was gonna quit doing it because my fingers are sore and I'm I know that's a tiny tiny complaint but um I continue to do it anyway so um just to have a good pattern built up so that's it, guys, and we will see you. I go back to the doctor on Tuesday for week 26, and I will hopefully check in. Then Brianna is gone all week in week 26. That's actually where I'm headed now to pick up her husband and kids. They're big Alabama fans, and they had a big Alabama Vanderbilt game, and she was going to be in Chattanooga all the rest of the week. And but they were going to this game this weekend, and I said, "Well, let me meet you halfway, and I'll pick the kids and your husband up and drive them home." And then she was going on to Chattanooga, and I mean, like gone like Sunday night to Friday night. So typically, when she's gone, it's just a couple days at a time. But it's going to be a crazy week, and I have a doctor's appointment. <laughs> just so many things. So, anyways, we'll see you for week twenty-six. Bye.